Hey Luke here with CatsandCarb.com and I'm bank fishing in a spot I've never fished before in a body of water I've never fished before and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and talk you through it. Ready to go, go to Baltimore? Go see mom? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Alright, I got my uh, rods, got my uh, gear on my back. We're going to see about doing some fishing. When you got a situation like this around these man-made bodies of water, um, it, it can be really uniform. There's, it's just all the kind of the same depth. There's not a lot of structure down there, um, not a lot of plant life. So it's kind of like wide open spaces. Uh, in that situation, fishing close to the walls can be good, you know, because that's the biggest piece of structure around. So um, I'm gonna start fishing near the wall and kind of move my way out, see what happens. Another good way about, to go about it is just slowly drop a line down, see if you get any nibbles, and just kind of bump your way around. Even if you just find a patch of small fish, that's a good place to set up for like larger predators. confess I was super surprised I heard the bell go off and I about knocked my camera into the water and dropped my phone and, and uh, <laughs> somebody wasn't paying attention to their rod tips but uh, nice little channel catfish not too bad for a spot I've never hit before so anyway, we're gonna get back in the water here there you go oh hey boys you guys just missed it we just reeled in a little catfish Nathan, you want to catch some fish with Daddy? Awesome, let's do it. Okay, next fish, you get to reel it in, okay? Yeah, wind picked up a little bit. It might just be the wind. Nope, 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 there we go. All right, Nathan, you want to net him? All right, buddy. Yeah, that's about as close as you need to be. Yep. All right, Nathan, hold on to the net. Hold on to the net. Hold on to the net, buddy. You got the net? Get, 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 get. There, oh, Nathan, here, will you hold the net? Um, you, I don't know I, if that I would recommend that. All right, so another nice uh, channel catfish. Let's uh, go ahead and get him back in. You like that? All right, let's get him out. Careful, bud. So let me show you, these are the bells I'm using, the little alligator clips with a couple bells soldered on and some uh, rubber coating on the teeth. Cost about 50 cents to make, which is great because I go through a lot of them. Uh, I just posted a video about how to make these yourself. It's uh, pretty easy. But I like these just because they're cheap and easy and they're light. You know, I'm, I'm moving really light today, just bare minimal gear. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, Luke, why are you so lazy that you can't just watch your rod tips? Well, part of it is because my rods are in different locations, so you can't watch them both at the same time. Additionally, it's really important to pay attention to when you're getting bites so that you know when to check your bait. Um, it's not just about knowing when a fish is on, but you lose bait and you sit there fishing with no bait on your hook, you're completely wasting your time. So listening and identifying bites so you can check your bait, it's really important. 
Also, I've got my two little boys with me and they, uh, they demand a lot more of my attention than my rod tips. It also allows me to uh, respond to YouTube comments while fishing, which I end up doing a lot of. Look, Nathan, it's a pirate boat. Barge bite, baby. Look at that. <laughs> it's the weirdest barge bite I've ever seen. <laughs> that is, that was a weird little barge bite. Look at that, Nathan, you wanna hold them up? Well, there you go, Nathan. When you fish in an area with a lot of boat traffic, especially big boats, you get a phenomenon called the barge bite, okay? Whenever a big boat goes right by your gear, you often pick up bites. It can be quiet for an hour, big barge or boat goes by, boom, you get a bite. It's called the barge bite. Right, some people think it's a coincidence, but man, I think it's a real thing. And there's a lot of theories that maybe a bait fish get chopped up in the propeller, so the fish follow the boats and feed more aggressively when a boat gets by. Some people think it's the noise turns the fish on or churning up the sediment in the bottom gets the fish feeding aggressively. But whatever it is, I think whenever a big boat goes by, your chances of getting a bite go up. Hey Nathan, you having fun? go another another healthy channel cat it's number three all right let's get him back in there all right let me show you my uh, setup here I'm using the Nash scope 10 foot rods uh, the 2.75 pound test curve this is a, a British carp fishing travel rod absolutely love this rod it's a two-piece rod and the butt section telescopes so it packs down really small but it's very light very strong um, love this rod got an eos 7000 uh, by the fox company and uh, this is a bite and run reel so it's got the two drag system so you can put this uh you activate the lesser drag when it's sitting in the rod holder like this so the rod doesn't go flying in the water when you get a fish. And as soon as you turn the handle or flip the switch, it activates the fighting drag. Love this, it's got this very delicate Fuji shrink wrap handle. Great rod. My other rod's also a Nash, same rod, but I've got the Daiwa Regal BRI 4000 um, bite and run reel on here. Once again, it's got the two drag system, got the clutch. Uh, love these reels. Oh. Nathan, you want to reel him in? Okay. Here. Hold on. Nope. Hey, come on. Come on, Nathan, reel it. Come on, reel him down. Yeah, pull it up, pull it up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're doing good. Pulling. There we go, we got him. Yeah, good job, Nathan. Nathan just 
caught him. Good job, buddy. <laughs> okay. hey, hey, Nathan, look at the camera. Say fish. Fish. Okay, we're going to put it back. Okay, I always get a lot of questions about my landing net. This landing net is actually made by Daiwop for the Japanese and Asian markets. Over there, uh, rock fishing or cliff fishing is really popular. And so this is a Japanese version of a pier net. And you sling it across your back and it telescopes to 15 feet. And it's meant for pulling fish up vertically. The thing I also like is the hoop has hinges in it, right? So the hoop folds up to about the size of a two-dimensional football and it fits into my backpack so I can uh, fold this thing up really nice it's super compact travels really well and it's perfect for this sort of situation when you need to get the fish up a few feet uh, you can buy them in the US if you're if you look on eBay or some uh, import specialty store uh, locations and uh, I bought this thing in Hong Kong and I love it also, uh, this is my little spider wire bag. And uh, then these are the special Nash scope carrying cases. And they're designed so you can keep them all rigged up with your reel and have a little pocket on them. Channel cat number five, just tearing them up. Fishing in the rain, doesn't matter as long as you're catching. And uh, even got a sandwich here, so I'm, I'm good to go. This is uh, turning out pretty nice. These little white perch are great catfish bait. So I'm gonna up my game from uh, worms to some cut up perch here see if, uh, if i can't catch up to a little bigger Nice catfish, nice channel catfish on the uh, the cut perch. Cut perch always brings them in a little bit bigger. This one's pretty nice looking. Look at that. This is uh, our number six, I think. Oh yeah, fish on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he went traveling on me. Oh, another nice channel cat. Uh-oh. I just heard that. I got a double. Oh. Oh, that's trouble. Biggest channel I've caught so far. Oh, don't get hung up in there. kind of a size comparison yeah nice big boy not, not too shabby huh nice double that's a nice channel catfish we're gonna get him back in man what a great time caught eight channel catfish and a couple of white perch all in the space of about two hours but it's time to go meet my wife for dinner and it's starting to really rain so I'm out of here but hopefully you guys learned something new 
picked up a few tips and tricks and get out there and catch some fish and try new bodies of water because I had a great time and I never would have had this experience if I wasn't willing to go out and try someplace I'd never fished before. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. We put out multiple videos every week, every Wednesday and Saturday mornings. Also, one month from now, my family and I are going back to Alaska and we're gonna have some epic fishing videos when we come back. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.